Earl Nightingale once said, we are all self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Whether you like it or not, you are self-made. Whether you believe it or not, you are self-made. Whether you admit it or not, you are self-made. But that's just it. Usually, it's only the people who are where they want to be that will admit they are the ones responsible for getting themselves there. If you're not where you want to be, you must sum up the courage to accept that you and you alone are responsible for your here, your now, and your future. Taking responsibility for your future is the first step in taking control of your life. If you're always pointing the finger at someone else or believing other people have control over your destiny, you are powerless. Take back your power. I know, I know. We're all going through hell right now. I know there are circumstances that are not your fault that have knocked you from where you could have been to where you are now. I know it's hard. I know it is hard, but understand this. It will always be hard unless you sum up the courage to stand up and do something. I know things are hard right now. The world is a great big giant mess, but within that giant mess, some are finding solutions. Some are finding solutions, but most are finding excuses. Some are innovating. Most are collapsing. Wherever there's a challenge, that's where we see the real character stand up. There's opportunity everywhere. It might not be what you plan. It might not be what you want for this moment in your life, but there's always choices. The choices you make, make you. The choices you fail to make, make you. The actions you take, create you. Whether you like it or not, you are self-made. Whether you believe it or not, you are self-made. You are capable. You are and will always be a product of your choices, your discipline, your commitment, your actions. You will always be self-made. Now that you know that, start making choices to create the best self you can with the circumstances, the people, and the environment you are in right now. Decide to be one of the rare few to accept the challenge of taking full responsibility for your future. Everything about your future, you are capable. You don't need anyone else to get where you want to get. And you don't need to blame anyone for where you are now. Decide to own yourself. Be self-made with pride. Ask yourself, what can I do better? What have I not been doing that I should be doing? What am I missing? If I was looking down on my own life, what improvements would I suggest? What is a must in my life? What are three things I can do right now? Three actions I can take that have the potential to change everything in my life. Write the answers to these questions down, openly, honestly, as if no one will ever see them. Read everything you wrote down. Think about it. Spend time thinking about all those areas you can improve. Then get out there. Make the choices you must make. Take the action you must take. Be on the lookout for opportunities and on the hunt for results. You are self-made. You will always be self-made. Commit to creating a self that you're proud of, regardless of what is going on in the world. We'll